Okay, what I want to point out is that the HDPE has different properties. Okay, now with the with the Cookie Man here, okay, he was made with using lids like these white lids. Is made by using these ones and some blue lids and some pink lids. I don't have the pink lids at the moment. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Pink lid. This is from a, um, a vanish, uh, vanish uh, container. Oh, anyway, no. So, okay, and the hand. My daughter's hand was made with uh, yellow uh, milk lids, blue milk lids, and white milk lids. All right. Okay, I could not have done made the hands or the Cookie Man out of just normal milk bowl material. This would not have worked because the properties are different. Okay. The foot. The foot was made using milk lids. Okay, now the only thing you can do with these um, milk bottles uh, material is you can make you can make little billets. Then you can turn these. You can make bigger billets like this one. Put in your cake tin and then you can turn that or you can you can cut this with your circular saw you do whatever you like with that there are other um, HDB containers I've got a big container here one of these big bottle ones okay I got probably uh, had probably 20 of those at one stage can't see where it says HDPE on it but it definitely is no no so it no no and I cut this stuff up I thought when I originally started I thought yeah I'll go and I'll I'll cut it. I'll cut it all up, and now I've got a whole box of um, a whole big crate of these uh, HDPE uh, water bottles, and it takes a bit to process those. I mean, hey, this is just a uh, one of the offcut sections of that container. Now, this one here, if I put this one in the oven, the same with that one. This will this will melt. This will form a clump on the ground on the pan. Now this one here, if I melt this one, what happens is it goes an opaque colour and basically it will keep that shape. What what you then have to do is you have to apply pressure to force it into another shape. But it will it will take on the other shape, but it just takes a, a bit of pressure to do. Okay, so I'm saving these for later. But but nothing stopping you from combining those uh, those two together and melt them down and press them press them together. But all I'm saying is that there's a there's a different property between those two grades of HDPE there you go hope that's cleared up some of the issues with the different sorts of HDPE so, yeah okay another comparison of plastic okay These are these are shopping bags. These are uh, a branded store in Australia. Um, we have two main stores in Australia: Woolies and Coles. 
I can't exactly remember where these came from, but probably one of the one of those two. I know. So when you melt this down here, you can turn it into like this. This is quite hard. Okay, they both. It's HDPE. Okay, now the, the properties of that. I couldn't make this hand with because the material just doesn't flow into the mold not like the lids the lids are perfect lids flow into the mold whereas this I could just I could just melt it put it into the mold and it'll just stay in one location it won't it won't flow into the mold not like they not like these lids so there you go, comparison between the shopping bag and the milk lid. Bye.